On the morning of January 6, 1482, the good citizens of Paris gathered at the cathedral to hear the sermon of Dom Claude Frollo, Archdeacon of Notre Dame, before whom the congregation trembled as he stalked beneath the lofty arches of the church. Congregants, we gather here beneath this vast symphony of stone on the morning of the Feast of Fools. Our streets will soon be filled with those unsavory elements. Criminals, foreigners, and gypsies. Those who have infested our city and are on this one day free to roam without being subject to arrest. Beware the temptations of those less devout than we. We must fight the urge to indulge ourselves. For remember, we are all born sinners. Underneath these arches and this sacred dome We are blessed to find our sanctuary And our home Come with me, brother I'm heading into town for a little, uh, fun Jayon, you must stay home and write out your catechism No, no, you must come with me to the bar. I won't lie to you again if you stay out late. Yes, you will, brother dear. You are so good to me. Jayon, where have you been? Why weren't you at evening mass? It's your birthday. We must celebrate. Well, I brought you a gift. She's a, a friend of mine. Gypsy girl? In our room? This is Florica. She's a beauty, isn't she? This is my brother, Claude. Happy birthday, Claude. Don't be shy. I can see you want to. I can- Stop! Claude! What's going on in here? Uh, n nothing, Father. Is it nothing, Claude? Tell him, Jayon. Well, if you won't, I will. You must leave, Jayon, this holy refuge where you've dwelled. Sorry, Claude, but I have no choice. Your brother is expelled. Jean, what did you think? That they wouldn't send me away? Who do you think these people are? These people? They've given us a home, comfort, and safety. Comfort? You call this comfort? You call this safety? Well, you can have it. You're welcome to it. And Jehan. And the girl. 
left. And Frollo didn't hear from his brother for several years. Frollo ascended uncommonly fast to the ranks of Notre Dame. Till he was named the Archdeacon at last and gave thanks to Notre Dame. And then one joyful day brought a message and the name that Father Claude Frodo, I was asked to come to this place. Ah, yes. We've been expecting you. Hello, brother dear. Jeon, where have you been? Traveling. Hounded from city to city. My beautiful Florica. That gypsy girl. You're with her? She died. Six weeks ago. Jeon, let me take you back. I'll bring you home. Brother, dearest, come with me where we will find the remedy And Notre Dame once more will be your sanctuary He thinks you will be my goal, not just your body, but your soul Be together in our holy sanctuary Enough, Claude. Enough with your pieties. It's too late for me anyway. But if you've truly discovered charity at this late a date, then maybe there's someone you can help. Oh, baby. It's yours? No, it's a monster! That's God's judgment on you. The wicked shall not go unpunished. I should have known. I was a fool to think you'd look after him. Look after him? Me? He has nobody else, Claude. But he is a gypsy's child! And mine! Take him. You can find in your heart. Jeon! Jeon! Sent me a test. This child is my cross to bear. I may not have saved my brother, but I will save this. this thing. But a monster like this must be kept hidden. See this lonesome creature from whom lesser men would flee. I will keep and care for him and teach him at my knee to think like me. And Frollo gave the child a name, a cruel name that means half formed. Quasimodo! What makes a monster and what makes a man? 